What we're going to talk about today is some uh, very unique aircrafts in the inventory that you can basically buy off the shelf and modify. Uh, this particular aircraft, uh, we have talked about styrofoam, of course, and uh, some other delivery types of aircrafts. And when we, when we say delivery, we're talking about an aircraft that is able to lift a certain amount of weight. Uh, for a number of different purposes, mostly uh, surveillance, camera work, and all that. But uh, if you're going to stay on top of this stuff, uh, then this is for those people who want to know what is capable. Uh, because there are many people out there making capable things. Uh, this is a good one, a good example of what you can do with off-the-shelf uh, radio-controlled uh, aircraft for under $300. Uh, I'm not going to mention any particular names. Most everybody in the uh, in the business knows what this particular one is, but we've added a few uh, 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 interesting features to this little uh, Delta Wing Beauty. Now, oh, we have the engine off <clears throat> right now because this one's getting an engine swap out. We're going to go with an OS, of course, because this particular unit comes with a crappy <laughs> Russian motor <laughs> that will cut out on you in a dime. So what we're, well, we're putting on is, of course, uh, some dependable stuff. Uh, this one is, uh, uh, of course, had uh, extreme modifications to it, and it is designed to deliver over a six-mile range, both uh, photographic capaci capacities uh, and maybe you want to uh, deliver uh, something else. <laughs> you know, who knows what. But anyway, uh, this is to show us and to talk about what we can do with some of this off-the-shelf wall stuff. Now, on this particular aircraft, because most radio control aircraft come way under underwinged for any weight capacity because they're performance aircraft with very small engines on. This particular aircraft, if you can see, uh, has an extra uh, wing. Uh, we call it a bi-wing. It has been added to uh, the underside of this. It's a styrofoam a wing that performs very admirably, giving much lift, a little bit of drag, but for the uh, amount of lift, the drag is nominal, and it gives you stability across the, uh, uh, a very broad area of the center of gravity. So, uh, what else we've added to this particular uh, unit to give it some notoriety? Most uh, radio-controlled aircraft uh, will have, of course, the hedral in the wing structures uh, to give it stability, or it'll have tip-ups at the end of the wings. Well, you no longer need that when you have a device such as this, which is a uh, ultraviolet wing leveler. It goes off the radiant heat of the earth, measuring from the sky to the ground, and by measuring that and seeing which is the hot, you know, the uh, hot is the ground and the, and the uh, lighter is the uh, cooler is the sky. That's, uh, of course, in a a number of different light sources you can use for this and this one I, I believe this one is ultraviolet or something like that but anyway as you can see it's uh, it's orientated on the uh, 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 pitch and roll format so it will uh, put in to your uh, <coughs> to your right uh, your receiver here it will give you roll commands and pitch commands it will keep this little beauty just as balanced <laughs> as the day mama uh, put her on the shelf but <clears throat> and if you don't believe these systems work, you ought to get one and see, because for about 79 bucks there, you'll have an aircraft that's uh, 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 unbelievably stable in flight and will maintain its altitude without a very expensive couple of hundred bucks worth of, or even up to $5,000 worth of uh, wing leveling stuff. Uh, this little beauty here can, uh, with some servos in there, off of radio control, will just do a, a beautiful job. Now also, if this aircraft... <clears throat> needs to uh, commit to anything, you can also add what, what has been added to uh, the backup of cars so they don't run over kids, they give you a little signal. This is a proximity device that will send out a beep and if anything is in the range of that beep, of course it triggers this and sends out an electrical impulse. That electrical, uh, electrical impulse could be used as a triggering mechanism and uh, you know, for proximity reasons, you may not want to run into a building or something. Right now, what we're proposing is that this proximity alert would be uh, for an added signal, which it is designed for right now, to go into uh, the telemetry uh, radio uh, signaling device here to bank the aircraft, normally to the right. This one's designed for right banking. Okie dokie. And, uh, to, you know, it's basically designed to pull that uh, aileron, aileron down a bit. Uh, pretty nifty little aircraft, one that will uh, deliver whatever you want to, whether it be camera gear or what, like we were saying, we're, we're designing for a 6 to 10 mile radius. Now the aircraft, 
of course would not be returning. This is a one-way flight uh, without another three or four thousand dollars into her for waypoint identification. Right now what we're doing is uh, going whole hog to deliver a very a specific range range uh, of events and it's altitude hold, uh, straight flight, the way you're, you've set her in flight, whichever direction she's going to go, with a minimal loss in the right or left turning sequence. And that, that way you can be assured that this particular aircraft will fly over the hill through the dale and <laughs> get pretty much to where you want. Now, where it's going, of course, we have designed uh, another pickup station uh, uh, on the same channel, of course, is then to, uh, as soon as the aircraft is overhead, will then, of course, uh, a radio signal will then start commanding this aircraft to be taken over by ground control. The idea is to launch from one ground control unit and be picked up on another control unit. For those folks who are worried about interdiction of, of particular items, well, this would be something to worry about because uh, you know, this is a crackpot's dream. Uh, this thing can do do a lot of stuff for about 300 bucks worth of uh, equipment there and be very capable and hold up to about a pound worth of uh, equipment. Okay, cameras, stuff of that nature. Okie dokie.